Bro. 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 We got a new Gemini. A journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. Let's get it. What is up, DB Gang? It's your boy, DBGTX-YT, and we're back with another Saint Seiya Shining Palace review. That is right. That's what we got going now. Is the new is the new title of this section or the segment is called the Shining Palace Review. It's a weekly patch update review. We go ahead and break everything down in regards to the actual patch and let you guys know exactly what to expect what did we get what we didn't get some of the nuances and so on and so forth so those things is what we normally do on these videos weekly videos in regards to satia shining soldiers now back to the actual main topic today as i as you guys notice in my introduction i'm kind of freaking out because we got a new gemini at least that's what I was told and when I just logged in they definitely confirmed it. So let, without further ado, let's jump right into the actual meat of this content because this week is kind of a continuation of the last week. They're definitely starting to put the weeks kind of in combination together versus doing it the way that they were doing it before where it was just like it felt clunky. It's feeling very transitional from week to week and the theme and thematics and everything that's work that's going with them it's working yeah we got a new gemini so let's go ahead and talk about this real quick first and foremost let's go ahead and look at the details because uh, of course we got to look at the details my boys and ladies and fellow warriors all across the nations you gotta look at this you gotta look you gotta read because they will end up dropping something that you'd be like yo oh wait what yeah so here we go. The new Gemini surplus, right? What we first got is the Dark Strike move that we got here for him. <clears throat> and it causes burn damage. So I guess that's a plus because now a lot of characters are coming in with different status ailments. Whether it's uh, dizzying, teleportation, things like that. They're all coming with, a, with some sort of status ailment. The Dark Strike does that. It causes burn if you switch Gemini in, burn damage becomes more. Or if you switch them out, I believe it is. It says if you use if you switch them out, passive th passive skill three activates, which means that uh, the extension of burn becomes an extra two turns in that regards. Now we also have charge skill B, which I guess these are his actual moves. Uh, besides the status ailments and passive skills. We'll read the passive skills down here and combine everything that I read up there. But that's just the breakdown of everything that they were saying up there. Um, then, charge skill B, essentially, is just a regular a regular attack in that sense. But it's a speed 8. So, in the sense, he is not, I repeat, he is not the guy you want to have fighting new cloth Saya. he's a glass cannon more than likely so what you guys want to look at is that this is the guy you want to use possibly after you get rid of him or if the person behind you know the person who you're fighting right now has um a high defense like uh, a lot of people have been using taurus and some people have been using um the god the god warrior thor those two have an insane defense. You see what I'm saying? And that could be a problem online when you fight somebody who, you know, for example, New Cloth Sayer has a hard time beating those uh, those Thors. So if you boost up those Thors characters slots and all that good stuff, defense slots, like they will tank the shit out of Sayer's moves. Speed 8 attack, it just means that 
you know, you will a lot of the times go second if this character is coming out as a point. So you don't want to use him as a point unless the people that you're fighting um, definitely have a different meta out there with not involving new club Seiya. Let's put it like that. Skill C is the Galaxian Explosion. It is a white colored. So he has an opposing affinity to himself. So that that's crazy that he has his own opposing affinity. So his Galaxian Explosion is a speed 3 attack. It performs a 45 power combo. It is his strongest attack. No doubt. But it is his slowest attack. Um... So, yeah, again, like I said, the only way this guy is going to work is if you guys build up his defense enough to be able to tank and attack or if the people that you're playing against are not using New Cloth Seiya. It's, that's really where the new, where, where the things come in because if the character doesn't have a white affinity in order to smack you like that, then you, you're okay but against moons against new cloud Seiya, it's going to be hard for you to actually use this unit on them because of the simple fact that he has an affinity weakness to their strongest attacks and their speed nine versus speed eight and all that now let's talk about the team effect here <clears throat> on the team effect side we got spirit attack up so if you use him um if you have him on the bench, it's going to bring up the team attack, the main warrior spirit attack by 29% in battle. That is massive. The team skill itself at 29%, when you get it to level 5, that's insane. And if you mix this unit with someone like I mentioned earlier by the name of Moon. This shit could be dangerous. It could be a dangerous squad right here. The squad could be dangerous. Even if you don't even use them to fight, Moo's attack capacity is up by 30%, guys. So that's just putting that out there. And I know that right now a lot of people are still, you know, using high defense, uh, high spirit defense metas in order to stop Moo versus really stopping New Cloth Sayer and aiming for the thousand, uh, thousand year war in regards to beating him that's pretty much where everybody's alluding to like yeah I, if i attack first and beat him first then everything is gucci um but you know i'm a perfectionist so i will figure out ways to beat beat him without having to go first or anything like that be able to attack his attacks all that good stuff so yeah that's a, that's pretty much what, what what this what this entails in regards to being able to you know, uh, do something with that nuisance, you know, with, with being able to strike with a higher level, higher level attack power. Um, especially if you don't have uh, those new armors, if you haven't been collecting the yoga, the yoga armor, then unfortunately you're not getting the, the, the spirit boost, the spirit defense boost, and the, the defense, the overall defense boost that the mythical armors are giving so right, passive skill it increases own spirit attack by 34 percent for five turns holy shit on turn three then burn duration up so increases burn duration up of own attack by four during the battle so if he burnt if you use his burn technique dark worlds and you hit the other character it automatically activates the passive skill to of course like i mentioned earlier i thought it was only two turns but apparently it's four so um the total amount of turns of being burnt anyway is three to four turns so that means you automatically getting seven to eight turns worth of um burning effect that's fucking horrible very horrible for the opponent that is not for me baby not for me and we have spirit attack increased spirit attack by 34 after switching in so in the sense i really haven't looked at his defense uh and his stats his actual stats because they don't show his actual stats here but i'm wondering if maybe as an attacker they possibly gave him a high defense somewhere because I was telling you guys, like I mentioned earlier in the video, it's a little bit, you know, um, it's a little bit concerning when his 
when he doesn't have a high speed attack, so that means that he must be able to at least somewhat have a good resistance against either spirit or against physical. And yeah, I think that, that 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 that's where it lies. We have to see what what his stats are looking like in order to be able to get an actual revelation on that. Also, today is finally the open day for the fierce battle with yoga if you go over to the ranking event, and in the ranking event here um of course you've already got you guys already done this before but we already know how this works and it helps that you do it because if you do it you get extra money extra money is the thing is the theme for this game if you are free to play like a lot of us are it's kind of hard to come by cosmo crystals besides the the 50 that they give you or they chuck at you daily so instead of doing that you got to make sure you go ahead and go about it this way so um make sure you do your daily rankings make sure you do your daily rewards that means that you will get a total of possibly 120 cosmo crystals for just doing the rewards and, re and rankings make sure you go ahead and eat Eat, eat, eat. This is where you want to eat, my free-to-play players. If you need Cosmo Crystals to summon some new characters, this is where you want to eat. And, of course, there's another thing that you guys want to maybe check out. This is up to you guys to do it that way. I don't usually go about it this way, but if you have checked out my Summon Maids in Heaven, I am a very big advocate of using... A thousand, two thousand, three thousand Cosmo stones at once in the Super Summon, and then you know doing the same thing with my tickets. But my fellow Saint Seiya Shining Soldiers colleague Diego answers, which I will put his link down below in the video. If you guys want to go check out some of his content and whatnot, especially his summoning videos, he does them by individual pulls. And his summoning rate has been actually pretty decent, even though obviously you get a lot of duds and do and things like that. He at least gets 10 tries at the character that he wants. And this game is about not getting essentially, you know, all the new characters. It's more about ranking up and building up, you know, the best characters that you already got it's kind of thing, combination and things like that. Nonetheless, it's a method that he does. If you guys want to check out his method, it's down, it's down below in the comment section. I definitely will link it there for you guys to watch some of his summer videos and see, you know, if you guys, new players, will like to go about it that way and see it, hopefully they that you guys get something good out of it. The new Cloth Iki event is still going. That is right. The new Cloth Iki event is still going. So make sure you go ahead and continue doing that if you go over to the exchange the exchange tells you exactly when this is running out um you know, how many days how many days are left in this particular event and right here it tells you it's 13 days so that means that and essentially by the end of next week this is going to run out uh this event is gonna is gonna be gone by and you don't want that you don't want that you don't want that get this event done get it done get it done get those scrolls get those armors get it get, listen invest the time to do it invest the time to do it that's all i gotta say invest the time to do it and trust me trust the heart of the cards you will get some very good units coming out uh doing the step up and doing all the instructions that I'm giving you guys week honestly is a continuation of last week so I'm not really going to go ahead and hammer this week uh, in the sense of saying that oh this week was whack or anything like that it's not because it's a continuation of last week we still got pretty much a lot of the venues and things open over in the summoning section so if you guys check that out we got the surplus we got the cancer we got the affinities they're still up so all that is still up the only thing that's not up anymore of course is the gold iki which is already gone so if you didn't get your hands on them unfortunately like me i didn't get my hands on them unfortunately we gotta wait for them and that's that that's that that's that that's that simple as that all right and that's it i give this i give this week a b 
hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead and hit the sub the like the share continue coming through every week and don't go anywhere because we are also having a super live summoning event happening later on today that is right today on the channel for saint say where we're gonna go ahead and do a thousand cosmo crystal summon and we're gonna also be doing some scroll summon which is going to be great so come through show some love and i'll see you guys later peace out